the delivery dates of social security benefit payment and fourth stimulus check update are $1,400. We have got all the latest details, all the exact details. Today in this video, we'll be going to answer some of the really important questions regarding stimulus check update. Will there be a fourth stimulus check? If there is a fourth stimulus check, how much will be the exact amount? Who will be eligible for the fourth stimulus check? And when will the fourth stimulus check will be sent out? How exactly they will be distributing these checks? And what will be the impact of the fourth stimulus check? right here into the economy and what are some of the reasons which might go against a port stimulus check these are some really important questions regarding port stimulus check and we'll be also going to cover all the specifics the details the amount the exact dates as we are getting tons and tons of details so however guys quickly before we start this video make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel if you like these details and without further ado let's get right into all the details all right guys i wanted to make this video very specific to the point so there won't be too much of a trash talk about this port stimulus check we'll be going into the specific details so guys without further ado let's hit that like and let's get right into it all right guys so talking about the first most important question will there be another round of stimulus check will there be a port stimulus check if you do a simple little poll right here in this video just comment down below if you need a stimulus check or not just comment down yes i need stimulus check or no i don't need it if you do this simple little poll the majority of people will likely answer yes we definitely need another round of stimulus check because currently due to the inflation the rising cost of goods and services has caused a lot of suffering to americans stimulus check is the possibility which can help improve the overall well-being of americans when people have more money they are more likely to be able to afford things like healthcare, education child care and this can lead to better health more education more opportunities for children and families another aspect of stimulus check when people receive money from government they are more likely to spend it which can help increase the jobs right here into the economy ultimately boosting the economic growth when typically people receive their stimulus check they do spend it on to the buying goods services and this will create a surge of up selling of products ultimately this will lead to manufacturers manufacturing more items and this will create more jobs right here into the economy giving the boost stimulus check can also help reduce poverty people who are struggling to make their end meet use the stimulus check to pay for their basic necessities such as food rent and utilities stimulus check can help provide the much needed financial assistance for people who lost their job or had their hours reduced ultimately reducing poverty boosting consumer spending nurturing economic growth ultimately helping stimulating the economy so is it all good stuff well of course not there are also some potential drawbacks of the stimulus check for example sending out stimulus check too early can cause increased inflation so if government does not properly assess the requirement of the money and if governments print out too much money to pay for stimulus check then it can lead to inflation which can make it more expensive in the end to buy goods and services so this is a trade-off also if people are receiving enough money from stimulus check to meet their basic needs they may be less likely to work and some of that money given out in the stimulus check may not be used effectively because you know what the sole purpose of stimulus check is to stimulate the economy and if people use that money to store it in their bank account it's not good as per government overall there are benefits and drawbacks for the stimulus check we need to overweigh the drawbacks and that should be a strong reason why should we receive a stimulus check but speaking about some specific details about stimulus check we have got all the details regarding possibly a port stimulus check the amount of the stimulus check and eligibility requirements for stimulus check now speaking of the possibility the possibility of port stimulus check has been a subject of much speculation in the recent months because there is a strong desire for people to receive help and some experts believe that it is likely while others believe that it is unlikely now the biden administration has not yet made a decision about whether or not to pursue for a port stimulus check and speaking of the amount of the stimulus check if let's say a port stimulus check is passed amount of the check could be anywhere from one thousand dollars to two thousand dollars or anywhere in the ballpark the amount of the check will likely depend on number of factors including state of the economy and amount of the money which is available for the funding and it's also important to note that if government allocate too much money it will cause unlikely more inflation it is a sweet spot they must send out the exact amount of money that people will not store into their bank account they must spend right here into the economy so that is the important aspect to analyze and also there is a eligibility requirement for stimulus check some people believe that stimulus check will be for everybody for all the people but here's the thing guys in specific scenarios they might send out a specifically highly focused stimulus check for a specific group of people like low income fixed income beneficiaries people receiving social security ssi ssdi benefits va or they might implement a simple 
income requirement criteria. Now, the eligibility requirement for a stimulus check could be similar to those we have seen in the previous stimulus check. Now, in the previous stimulus check, it would be likely available to all the taxpayers. So whether or not you pay your taxes, whether you file your tax return or not, regardless of the income, it is also a good, good possibility. However, guys, it's also possible that eligibility requirement could be stricter. So they might implement certain income requirements like, like for example, people earning 50000 to 75000 dollars or below that which would mean fewer people would be eligible for the stimulus check based on some historical events of stimulus check distribution if they were to approve a post stimulus check let's see how much will be the exact amount well the amount of post stimulus check is still unknown however previous stimulus check have been ranging from $1,200 to $1,400 per person so any amount between those kind of ranges is a good estimation who will be eligible for a post stimulus check well eligibility requirement for stimulus check considering the previous stimulus check have been sent out to all the taxpayers so whether or not you file the taxes they can still provide you the money for the stimulus check regardless of your income that is also the possibility if economic condition worsens over the period of time now how will fourth stimulus check will be distributed well distribution method for the fourth stimulus check considering previous check have been sent out via direct deposit or via mail if this round were to be approved similar criteria will be the case and what is the other side of the equation what are some arguments against the fourth stimulus check now there are both sides of argument basically in favor and in against the poor stimulus check now arguments for a poor stimulus check that it would provide much needed relief for americans struggling with rising cost of living it would boost the economic growth by putting more money into people's pocket and it will reduce the poverty boost the economic growth in there now arguments against the stimulus check include it would be too much expensive to send out the stimulus check onto the federal level so they might implement it to the specific group of people a highly highly focused check to reduce the expenses of a stimulus check if government were to send out stimulus check it might discourage people from working but here is not the case guys because we have seen in the history sending out stimulus check is basically a one-time help it will not basically a entire lifetime money it's a small one thousand four hundred dollar one thousand six hundred whatever amount so i don't think that should be the case and many many experts argue that it would lead to inflation so if government were to allocate too much money to stimulus check it can lead to inflation however i wanted to ask this very important question to you if let's say government has two options they have to save dying economy a economy which is dwindling down right here into the deep dark period of recession now do you think this government will think about inflation will sending out stimulus check cause more inflation in that scenario no definitely not in that case government has primary job to save the economy from deep dark recession to recover the economy to save the economy save job losses put money into the people's bank account that's the most important thing therefore i don't see that inflation would be against sending out stimulus check and most important aspect is timing if the stimulus checks are issued during time of economic hardship they are more likely to receive the attention for example stimulus check that were issued during pandemic received a lot of attention as people were struggling financially due to pandemic another aspect is the political climate whether politicians are realizing the need or not if stimulus checks are issued during time of political turmoil let's say elections they are more likely to receive attention for example stimulus check that were issued during 2008 financial crisis received a lot of attention as financial crisis was a major political issue that time and also if stimulus check received a lot of media coverage they are more likely to receive attention for example stimulus check that were issued during pandemic received a lot of media coverage and pandemic was a major news story at that time now based on the eligibility requirements in the previous stimulus check those people eligible for stimulus check you must be US citizen or US lion having valid social security number IRS can also use the information from taxpayers return to determine the eligibility of the amount it's not necessary to file the tax return in order to receive the stimulus check speaking of the amount of the money amount of the money in the stimulus check depend on the person's income filing status for example single filer adjusted gross income up to $75,000 received $1,200 check previously married couple filing jointly with adjusted gross income up to $150,000 received $2,400 check and for each dependent under a 70 taxpayers received additional $500 so for government it's very important to allocate the amount of money the right amount of the money to individuals based on the eligibility requirements and other kind of a criteria based on the current economic situation none of the stimulus check have been approved but these are some estimation these are some key indicators that we must watch to assess the possibility of fourth stimulus check so let's check it out the schedule for the social security benefit payments right here in this month first of the month that's when your september ssi payment will be coming in alongside if you check out the first of the 
October. This is when typically all the SSI beneficiaries should have received their October SSI payment. But check this out. First of the month happens to be landing on Sunday. Therefore, no payments will be heading out on the holiday or weekend. In that scenario, your payments will be deposited much earlier, which is in this case happens to be landing on 29th of the September. Because here is the thing, guys. Again, 30th of the September happens to be landing on Saturday. So therefore, you'll be going to receive your October SSI payment two days early that is on 29th of the September. So let me summarize the payment schedule on to the first of the month. September SSI payment will be coming in. Then the next important payment is on those social security beneficiary who receive the social security before May 1997 will be going to receive their payment on 1st September as well. And talking about 13th of the September, if your birthday lies between 1st to 10th of the month, be sure to check out 13th September for your payments to be deposited. If your birthday lies between 11th to 20th of the month, then be sure to check out 20th of the September for your payments to be deposited. And if your birthday lies between 21st to 31st of the month, then be sure to check out 27th September for your payments to be deposited. Also talking about the 29th of the September, this is when the October SSI payment will be arriving two days early. So don't get confused guys, no bonus payment, no extra checks. This will be your hard earned benefits just arriving couple of days early. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel and this is Kedar, I will see you in the next video. This was my honest attempt to provide you all the latest news, all the latest details that will benefit you, your monthly checks. So guys, make sure to hit that like button, share this video, subscribe to our channel if you liked it and stay tuned for all the latest news by clicking on to all the bell notification and this is Kedar from How To Guys. Take you out in the next video.